Hi and welcome again to uh, the Reillusions Biosphere channel on YouTube. This is uh, a, very, a very simple, I mean if you touch uh, Reillusions Biosphere anyway, just about anything that you output with it is going to look more more beautiful with its um, implementation. But this I just want to show you uh, what can be created with something as simple as that piece of land and then a very simple shape block which I used for the doors and windows with a ve again a very simple graphic and a tree not particularly that one another one but I blew the tree up way over size and uh, of course toadstool and so mix all those together with a few of the other pre-made props and you've actually got a really uh, attractive village put in some atmospherics particles and lighting and you're going down that Walt Disney track straight away. One issue I had with this, which is a bit of a problem, but I know Real Illusion are working on it, is the toadstools. You can't actually link anything to them, or to any of the plants. What I managed to do was take all the windows and group them like that, take the groups and make the parent of those groups the top of the chimney, and then attach the toadstool, also link it to the top of the chimney, so you had this peculiar sort of mismatched group, but it worked. It saved me uh, uh, a bit of time bringing in the, the toadstool and then putting in the, um, the groups uh, of windows, doors and, and the chimney. You can't save it as a collective prop yet, but you can save uh, the toadstool as your own prop. And you can save all the, uh, the windows and the chimney and the doors as a grouped prop and say so when you bring them in you just link the toadstool straight to the chimney and power you're done you're back in action so you can't save it as a, a collective prop but otherwise th there's always a workaround somewhere and this this just simply shows how easy it is to, to move things around and use them probably not as they were intended um, but I need this village to have a lot of little twists and bits and pieces to it which which would work why particularly you'd have walkways between the mushrooms when the uh, the inhabitants have all got wings, I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of um, tradition. But uh, you can see it's very simple and the actual, the, the final out is going to be about 800 by 422 or something. So there's not a great amount of detail required. When, when I put the, the, the glow um, graphic onto the, the doors and windows, I toned it way down so that they just about kind of glow otherwise they they flared out way way too bright and it's going to be softened down with a, a thin blue mist anyway as you can see here the, the the tree is way oversized and all the ferns and the flowers so when you see that picture everything looks normal and then suddenly when you look right down into this little um uh, root curve of the tree there's this incredibly complex society going on inside it Nothing that I'm doing here is particularly something that you couldn't do in version 3 or 2 if the, the, the biosphere had, had uh, come on the market. It's all just fairly straightforward. Having an idea and putting it together and then, as you can see here, change the lighting and put in some mist and, and a bit of atmospheric. And it really sings. This is the scene you can see. If you just compare that previous shot to this, this is what it looks like with no lighting, this is just like quick render. This is exactly what it looks like. You'll notice there's a lot of spaces between the plants on the ground as well. I don't need to pack that out really dense and uh, overdrive the CPU. There'll be distant shots when they're high and very low shots when they're close like that. So there's no particular need to absolutely pack it out with a phenomenal amount of foliage. I just need the gaps in the background comfortably filled out so that it looks tidy. There we go. Really that this is for the, 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 the version 3 forum, version 4 forum for um, iClonedTutorials.com, which I'm just assembling now. I'll actually render this in the end uh, as a, a 1200 by 200 um, header strip video. 
But the, the, the iClonetutorials.com site is basically not really a, an iClone tutorial site in the true sense of the word. It's literally explanations of what I do, how I work, what I like to see, and how I use everything in the hope that somebody may come along and actually find that inspiring and a bit provocative and maybe go away and redevelop it themselves and do something else. This weather vane I made three, four years ago couldn't use it because the axis uh, didn't work. Now, with um, iClone 4, you can choose where the hub axis is, and so it now rotates on itself, and I can use it as a weather vane. Four years later, never used. Here we go, here's the village. Anyway, that's basically how I work. Hope you like what you see. And um, we'll maybe catch you at the uh, iClintutorials.com forum later on. Bye-bye now.